I got before falling down the thing. Cool. There's a shitty seashell in the desert. I know there is. Yep. B bottom right corner. Under a rock. It's always under a rock. Or, no, or dirt or something. Let's see. You. Nope. Yeah, something good is bound to happen. The messages will stop. Yes. <laughs> there's, there's, I'm remembering the WarioWare race with SLPH. Thinking that the golden turd in the final level was the secret seashell. <laughs> I've seen enough stuff to know what that shape can also mean. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, there is actually a mascot enemy in Blue Dragon. <laughs> You're fighting poo-shaped poo snakes in that game. Oh! I struck gold. Or, not that gold, but you, I mean. Yeah, I know, but some of us want to do so every Ooh. now and <laughs> Full heart. Heart! Go planet. Never liked that show, actually. <laughs> Did you like the theme song? Yeah, the theme song like, was... Fine? Catchy. Okay. Okay. I, I don't know. But, uh, Aside I was, from that... I always thought Captain Planet was one of the wussiest superheroes ever. You could cough on him and he'd lose his power. It was kind of funny. More, more like when you get older kind of a thing. Oh, yes, of course. I, I, I do remember the episode where the villains team up to summon Captain Pollution. It's the hammiest, absolute, <laughs> narmiest moment in the series. Because they play it completely straight. <laughs> the guy who becomes Captain Pollution has the best ham-fitted ham voice. I sounded like a surfer dude, according to one mm -hmm. of my friends. A surfer dude who's trying way too hard. Oh, wow. I've never seen him that much, so... It, uh, it's, it, it's one where if you see it, you won't forget it, but at the same time... Was it worth it? You don't need to go out of your way to look for it. Okay. Okay, so the main thing you really want to know about that show is the intro. Yeah. And, and that's about it. You don't, you don't need to watch anything else. Uh, oh yeah, I know where I have to go. I want to take the warp again, I think. Yes. Just seeing if there's seashells by the seashore. Nope, we need the flippers to get to the... A lot the of them. The bay. Oh, I hate these things in oh. this game. Excuse me. Oh, yay, fairy. Gimme. Oh, these guys are electric. I think I showed that off before. You know what? I'm gonna do this later. As soon as the shield stops bouncing me back. Let's take the warp. Screw all this. Welcome to warp zone. Yeah, I was just thinking, in... How would Mario handle those bomb-dropping mushrooms? Uh, he'd just grab them and become Mega Mario. <laughs> and trample down on Animal Village without realizing it. Well... It's kinda what he would do. I mean, in Odyssey, you see what he does to bunnies. Yep. Quarters. <laughs> they are the ugliest bunnies ever. I just realized something, Court. The fan theory is Peach is sending the Mario Brothers out to collect as many coins as possible. And of course, people have theorized that the Mushroom Kingdom is broke. And the reason for that is probably the Mario Brothers constantly destroying all the other kingdoms by Mega Mushroom. <laughs> and then Peach the Mega got Mushroom only appears in like two games. Then Peach got the bill. Oh, that's why they only appear in two games. Actually, head north from here. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I was 
Uh, I was just thinking back to routes that I remember, and I was gonna go oh, for the forest. Actually, because I know where to go from there. I think it circles back over to this place. Also, one thing I like about this game, the overworld is actually interesting. Yes. Thing like, Ocarina of Time, I hate the overworld. Well, it's... It, it's mo there's mo nothing there. Mo mostly just Hyrule Field, and... E even then, once you become a Dole Link, it becomes even more boring, because enemies are all gone. But if you want nightmare fuel, just show the pea hats to a little kid. The Ocarina of Time ones. Yes. The Zelda 1 ones are just annoying. They're not nightmare fuel. Um. Let's. Yeah, I have to go up now. No, 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 not yet, not yet. And actually, if you happen to come here first, you can do something that I'm about to do. Which is... Disco Dance! No. Not quite. Yeah, good old tech tights. That's an important cave for later. Yeah. Um... Link, wrong spot. That, that actually happened in today's uh, Super Mario Star Road. Seems to work. SLP each video because someone, oh sorry, so, someone unlocked the door and Mario was way to the left of the keyhole. <laughs> Do you? You only need to see these, right? Right. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I forgot about. Because uh, you could, I, I could just jump into it and be positive. But I'm pretty sure it'll work. Yeah, you'll know for sure next time you take a warp. Uh, I think we're talking about Final Fantasy at one point. I did have a plan for maybe a future uh, thing with a guest, but it'd be different from this. It'd be, basically, I made a Final Fantasy 1 hack that is impossibly too hard for anyone but me. Well, Final Fantasy 1 and NES is like that for most players anyway. Um, I pumped it up. <laughs> up, there's... Up kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I made the end a lot harder. For example... Because from what I've heard, the beginning is very hard. The end is actually pretty easy. If you have all the right stuff. Because by, by the time you can get at items that cast spells, that, that's when the game becomes a lot easier. That's, the first one can be found in the Castle of Ordeals. And I do give those to you, but you need them. And they're like guarded by like super powerful dragons or something. Mm-hmm. Though, really, that piece of power, uh, might be able to get it with your sword. Oh well, yep. <laughs> I didn't know if it would register while I was in midair. It, it does. Though, uh, there's a problem. I'm in a cave, so when I leave the cave, it's gonna wear off. But whatever, it'll increase my walking speed. Um, that is four blocks long, so I shouldn't be able to deal with that. And there's something cool in here. 50 rubies. I want those. More very nice. The bow fund is being funded quite nicely. The one thing about these caves, the... I forget, but, um... The only, uh, obviously, the only ones you could bomb through would be, like, if they're right next to the edge. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Hey, I'm up here! I'm using up all my energy to wave! And I just died. Stamina doesn't exist in this game, buddy. At least not for me. Not till Skyward. And that could have been worse. That was okay. Like, I didn't 100% it. I never did. Let's 
so famished I can't move. And your nose is waving. People were saying that the text in Super Mario Odyssey were like a grandmother first discovering discovering emoticons, and just not much has changed because <laughs> it's been a trend since this game. I got the hibiscus. I know what that's for. Yep. And Dine knows what that's for. But do you viewers know what it's for? Probably. I depends on who you are. It also depends on if you talk to the person who, who I didn't for. yet. Yeah, because it's super obvious who wants it. I, uh, well, we can't go this far because even, even with the exciting music, but we will see the exciting music again or hear it. Dungeon time. Uh, Windows updates go away.